This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Dear students, as I told you before, when atoms and molecules interact, different phases of matter are formed, isn't it? And uh, you also know what are these different phases of matter are. Yes, the different phases of matter that are formed when atoms and molecules interact are the first one is solid, liquid, gas, and the fourth important state of matter is, yes, that is plasma. So, this plasma state will get only at extreme high temperature, okay. This plasma state of matter is obtained only at extreme high temperature. Isn't it? So the plasma state is obtained only at extreme high temperature and this plasma state is a source of tremendous energy for future use of mankind. Okay. So now I told you the three phases of matter and even the fourth phase. So as you can see in this figure. The first one is uh, the solid and the second is a liquid, gas and plasma. So by seeing these figures, you can identify some of the important properties of this solid, liquid, gas. So in solid, as you can see in this figure also, the atoms okay, or the molecules in solid are tightly packed. Okay, the atoms and molecules in this solid are tightly packed. You can see here. And they have a definite structure also. Whereas in case of liquid, The atoms and molecules are, I can say, loosely packed. Isn't it? Yes. In case of gas, as we can see in this third figure, the atoms and Molecules are very loosely packed. So this is one of the important property of different states of matter. So in case of solid, the atoms are tightly packed. They have a definite structure also. In case of liquid, the atoms are loosely packed. In case of gas, the atoms are very loosely packed and uh, these molecules they move randomly okay and they don't have any definite shape even in case of liquid isn't it it takes in the case of liquid it takes the shape of the container so now i told you we are dealing with a new topic that is called as physics. Again in this physics, we have many other different categories also. As we can see here, the electrical, mechanical, thermal, magnetic 
and optical properties of matter are studied in physics. For electrical properties, we have a separate branch that is called as electrodynamics. For mechanical, we have again mechanics. For thermal, we have thermodynamics. For magnetic and optical properties, we have optics like that. Again, we are categorizing uh, one main topic physics into a number of sub branches. Okay. So now let us see what exactly we will study again in this electrical, mechanical, thermal, magnetic and optical properties. Okay. Mechanics is mainly based on Newton's law of motion and law of gravitation. Okay. So this mechanics is completely based on Newton's law of motion. So here we are going to study about the various laws of motion, their applications, implementations and how we get those laws and even the proofs of those uh, laws of motion and even the law of gravitation which is uh, given by the scientist called Newton and in that he says every object on the universe attracts every object on the universe because of gravitational force okay and that gravitational force is directly proportional to the masses of the bodies and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so about this law it's proof so we are going to study in this chapter that is gravitation so this is again a separate topic so as i told you so in electric and magnetic properties we are going to study in electrodynamics okay in this electrodynamics it mainly deals with electric and magnetic phenomena associated with charge and magnetic bodies okay why they are telling electric and magnetic phenomena associated with charged and magnetic bodies? So if I assume a conductor which is carrying a current, if you, if you just take this, a conductor and here the current is moving like this. So whenever This is a charge, okay. This charge is carrying current. So, whenever we see a conductor in which the charges are flowing through a conductor, uh, it produces electricity. But along with electricity, whenever a charge is flowing through a conductor, it also produces magnetic field surrounding the conductor. That's why this electric and magnetic fields are inseparable. So how this works again about this phenomena we are going to study separately under the topic that is called as electrodynamics. You are getting this right? Yes. So electrodynamics it mainly deals with these electric and magnetic phenomena that to be charged to conductors okay which means whenever electricity flows through a conductor it produces magnetic field surrounding the conductor so not only this it is a very simple law as i told you just now whatever i told you it's a simple law so from this simple to a very complex laws we are going to study under the electrodynamics okay